Welcome to this video on the topic of linear relationships. In this video we're going to use or we're going to dive into some concepts around linear relationships or more straightforwardly put equations of a line. Now imagine that we've got a Cartesian plane here and being a Cartesian plane we always label it such that the y-axis is called the or is this vertical one and this horizontal axis is going to be called our x-axis. Now imagine we have a linear relationship or more straightforwardly put a straight line drawn on these axes. What we'd get is something that might look that. And the features that we'd have on this particular straight line is firstly we're going to have this x-intercept and we're going to have this y-intercept. And just to make it really tidy and um, we know what we're looking at, I'm going to label this line. I'm going to call it y equals mx plus c. And this is really important because what we see here is this green line and this blue writing over here. They actually infer the same thing. One is a linear relationship expressed in an algebraic form and the other is a linear relationship expressed in a visual form. So having said that, what we get is that the equation y equals mx plus c is simply a way of expressing a linear relationship using algebra. Now going back to the, the graph itself, what we can see is that this green line, the green line itself, it's got some interesting features about it. Well, the first thing we can look at it is we see that it's got an x-intercept and a y-intercept. Now, from that, looking at the y-intercept in particular, the y-intercept is where it cuts the y-axis. Now, this is directly linked to the equation of the line that we can see over here. More importantly, it's associated with this value c. What we find is that the value c actually represents the y-intercept. And we can write that as 0c. So this y-intercept here, First to this location here as, and the second point that we're going to mention is the gradient or the slope of this line here. So notice how this line doesn't go straight up or it doesn't go straight down. It sort of goes goes across and up. We call this this uh, movement of the line the gradient. So the gradient itself it's described by this variable m. And from our study in the past, what we found is that our gradient, or m, is equal to our rise. So what we've established in this short video is that linear relationships are simply just straight lines. And we've had a look at some of the features of these linear relationships when they get graphed. So more specifically, we've had a look at the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the, the concept of y equals mx plus c, where c is the y-intercept, and m refers to the slope of this line or the gradient of this line. So we'll leave it here for now, and then in the next videos, we'll have a look at how we can use the, the relationship between this, the graphical representation and the algebraic representation to actually solve some questions.